high storms that wreaked havoc in the south are now heading north. A woman died in Pell City when a tree fell on her home. The weather also claimed the lives of at least four people, including an eight-year-old girl. We also know about 180,000 people lost power. Mary Maloney reports. Strong, deadly storms pounded the southeast. It was pushing the screens through and we heard a bang. In St. Clair County, Alabama, a tree crushed a mother in her mobile home. We tried tried to figure out a way to get in there and, and uh, couldn't. We kept calling for her and, you know, could, there was no answer. The deadly weather spawned tornadoes. Powerful winds ripped the brick off an apartment building onto the cars below. I'm lost for words. I, I, <laughs> I just woke up and car gone. Power lines downed. We heard this loud pop, and when we did, all the lights in the house went out, and then we looked outside and saw the line down. Trees hurled into houses and cars. You didn't hear the tree fall down at all. And relentless rain washed out streets. A uh, hundred year flood. Mm -hmm. This don't happen, but about every hundred years. The severe weather quickly swept into neighborhoods. Putting people in danger. It was real strong. The wind was real strong. Raining real hard. You know, it, stuff started blowing around here. The devastation stretching north in Franklin, Virginia, heartbreak and hugs after a house is reduced to rubble. As people sift through what the weather left behind, a chest filled with items celebrating Christmas is hauled away days before Easter. I mean, every April, it you know, it's, it's, it gets bad. I'm Mary Maloney reporting.